Hey, how's it going? Tonight I want to swatch the Spearer Farben paint set. There are 48 colors here, so I'll probably do a few of the, maybe one or two or three of these sets of six, and then uh, in real time, and then fast forward through the rest of them. Well, we'll see how it goes. So I want you to know I got this set uh, last week, and like I said, there are 48 colors. This is the card, the swatch card that comes with the paint set. And usually I don't like to use that because it's already labeled for me. And, you know, I like to put things in, in my color system, whatever. But I've decided right now to keep them as is. So this, uh, this paint set came with two water brush pens. I'm just going to do it like that. Uh, with kind of a big, the big point. Want to see it? And a smaller point. I'm not going to use those to to paint with. And you have to keep them uh, apart like this. So if you take this outside to paint or something, uh, empty the water and. This doesn't have that thing. Empty, <laughs> sorry. Empty the water, you know, as much as possible, and then put it, take them apart and put them back uh, in like this. This has this palette, which fits right here, and it, then it closes, and it has this big open area of a palette, or you can do this and tape your your jobby in there. <laughs> your swatch card if you want to. I usually don't do that because I like to use this open area to, for mixing paints as well. And then of course it has the thumb ring. What about this cat hair? Like uh look <laughs> I can't I can't I can't get coordinated here with a thumb ring. Oh yeah there we go. That is that's kinda uh <laughs> unwieldy so I probably won't use it like that I'll probably set this on the table I like to say probably a lot I'm going to no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do this and just to save space and I'm going to also oh also this set came with two ceramic palettes about five inches across I'm only gonna use one of them and it came with 10 round brushes uh, ranging in numbers from 2 to 20. Uh, this this little wash cup here, wash bowl or whatever it's called. What's this thing called? Wash basin? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But uh, th it didn't come with the Spear of Arben paints. I bought this separately also from Amazon. And I really like it. <laughs> I'm using it actually for the first time. But I, I particularly bought it because of the holes to put the paintbrushes, dry paintbrushes in. I would not leave these brushes in here to dry. There's another one. Overnight. Oh, never mind. Uh, because I could risk getting water into the ferrule here, and that would create rust. But for just for painting purposes, before I start or during the painting process, then they can stay up there as long as they're dry. And you know, I have a, I have a brush dryer. It's upstairs. I don't know what it's doing up there. <laughs> but it's up there. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to not use these, but they do screw, screw in like that, the conventional way. They got a little push jobby there for the squirt the water out. And you know, I think I'm going to put them together and then just put them to the side. Also, I was looking to see how people in on Amazon, the customers, how they were swatching and it, it really is up to the artist how you want to sh swatch. Uh, I am going to do, since these are kind of small squares, except for these, rectangular, that's odd. Will I be mixing today, Tammy? 
You can also, the lid of the wash basin. This is the lid of the wash basin. I can't talk today. I just want you to know it's been like that all day. It used to be a Monday and now it's a Tuesday. A carryover. So, oh, brush tub. That's what it's called. Hello, <laughs> Lou Cornell. Serving the artist, ceramist, and hobbyist. So you can use this also as a little palette if you want to, but it is gray, and I usually like to stick to the white ones. So I'm just holding my my wipes in there. Oh no, I wanna I wanna separate this. This red lid here has uh, water with vegetable glycerin in it, and that was a game changer for a swatch that I was working on the, the previous video. Uh, this one, where this was with water and vegetable glycerin, look how smooth that is. And then this is just with water. Wow, I was amazed about that. Okay, so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use, is this, what is this? An eight? What is this? Ten? Eight, ten, eight, ten. Let's try the eight. I'm going to try the eight. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, why are you dipping in that water, Tammy? When <laughs> Tammy doesn't know. I'm going to bring this over. This is uh, one of the wipes I was telling you about, and it's on top of a silicone coaster. It's perfect. And it's uh, it's wet enough. It has stayed wet for hours, hours. All right, so what did I say? Hours, hours. So let me... I'm going to aside this. What color is that? <laughs> okay, fine. Oh yeah, this is red. Crimson Lake. There's not a whole lot of room here to to put a swatch in, a color or whatever, you know. I'm that type of painter who likes to cover it in completely. I know I shouldn't do that. I, I want to do a real, <laughs> a real swatch card, not one that's pre-made. And you need to make your, your jobbies bigger, Spear or Farben. Okay, so that one is... Crimson Lake, and that's not going to work at all because my hand's always going to be in your way. So, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to move that over. Do I need to zoom in a little for you, maybe? You don't really need to see my watering hole, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, then I can move this over a little. Move this over a little since I'm concentrating on this batch right here. Okay, the next one is Poppy Red. Let's see what it looks like. Can you see that? You can't. This is Poppy Red. Ooh, much brighter. I would say geranium red. All right, I need a little bit of a little bit of water there. Not too bad. I should try the. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? Painting at an angle. I should try. Oh, that really holds the water. Holds the color it in. It does. I can baby wipe. Might be even better, Tammy. Oh, 
Wow, that really does hold the color in. Reds, purples, blues. That's what it does. So I'm going to have to come over here anyway. I'll do this one. <laughs> this is... I want to say Crinacridone Rose. Crinacridone? I don't, I've never, ever heard that before. This, let's just go with Rose. So, like, do this. No. Do it your own way. Swatch away. Let me move that up a little. <clears throat> Ooh! That's the color of the lipstick my mom used to wear. That comes off the brush better. Okay. <clears throat> Go. Go over here, Tammy. <laughs> Go over here. So you can reach your... I don't think you're going to get that. Oh, you are. I'll be darned. <laughs> okay. And this one. It's going to take me a long time if I do it this way. So maybe only two of these sets of six. A Scarlet Lake. Hey, I think I'll go up. How about that? I was just trying to find my... My niche, I don't know. My niche. How's it pronounced? Is it French? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, Matter Rose. I'm sorry, Matter Red. Ooh, look at that. Not enough water. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's red. <laughs> it's not matter red. It's red. Why don't you call it angry red? Why do we associate red with anger? Okay, and then Thalo Crimson Red. I mean, there's a lot of... A lot of water on your ferrule there. And I'm thinking... Too much water... Hmm, not bad. It's kind of sloppy, but I'm not really concerned. Lots of plasticky sounds. Okay, now we're going with this one. Pyrrole Scarlet. Is that a bristle? <gasps> the bristles are coming out. No, we can't have that. No. Okay. Not enough water. Uh -uh. I usually like to do it there first before I just put it straight on the page. Right from the water. Hey, that's not bad. We're going to call that orange. <laughs> kind of a darkish orange, maybe. Ooh. I did hear a kitty in the background there. That's a, that must be a red because I see sticking around on the brush. Oh, 
Okay. And this is called Buff. Will this even have a color? Oh, yeah. This is like a beige. Beige color. Yeah, I kind of like that color. Kind of sticking around. Sticking around on the brush. Okay. Maybe I should have used the water brush pens. Okay. Oh, I see. I see something. Okay. So I'm going to put a little water. At least do, do those three. Uh, orange red shade. What about this one? Oh, yeah, that's like a, a blood orange, right? And of course, this will look different when it dries. My it'll probably be a little bit lighter when it dries. Okay, and then orange. What? <laughs> orange? I don't know what orange is anymore after seeing red, orange, orange, red. Oh, there's a lot of yellow in this orange. This is yellow orange. Yep. That's what that is. Yeah, I can see it coming off on the brush, even. When I wipe it on the baby wipe, the color that comes off the brush is yellow. Okay. <clears throat> Deep orange. Yeah, that's an that's orange. This is not orange. This is more of the gamboge color, maybe marigold or goldenrod or something. I like those uh, little steps in that in the wash tub. The, I'm sorry, <laughs> the brush tub. It gets the paint off better. And last, yellow, orange. Oh, I already had yellow, orange. Now this is orange, more orange than this is. This is the yellow, orange. Switch them. Switch them, Tammy. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you should see the beautiful fall autumn colors I got going on in this wash basin. Oh no, I might have to swap out my colors when I get to. When I get to. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, now for these, I am going to fast forward through. There may be some breaks in between. I don't know. If I hear any kitties, I'm going to have to break away and, and put their food out because we're at, about at the time that I should be doing that. Squeaky chair. Can't have a squeaky chair. Okay. So, uh, 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 uh. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Commence fast forwarding.
So I'm going to do the six, the last six here on real time without uh, the clip speed. This is palm leaf. And I'm going to read the colors to you when we get done. I was reading them out loud during, uh, well, for you it would have been fast forwarded, but for me <laughs> it was regular time. And I was reading out the colors and I was arguing with the paint set. That's not that. This is sepia. What is that here? Hmm. We, uh... Oh, I want to take some of that away. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, sepia. During your fast-forwarding moment, I was saying, I need to research these colors more and see what the general consensus is for some of these colors. This is Cotswold's Brown. That's a very, very weak, weak color. That's okay, Tammy. It doesn't have to be all opaque. That deep violet, though, man, that reminds me of the Paul Rubens purple and Paul Rubens green that I use for the sea salt and watercolors. I'm probably surprised that I remember that, but I just uploaded it. <laughs> so, November, and it's just been uploaded. Parts one and two. Hooker's green. On the product page, when they go through the swatches and they list the colors, they spelled hooker wrong. It looked like who cares? H-U-C-K-E-R, H-U space, K-E-R apostrophe S. I don't like it. That's not how you spell hookers. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, there's Payne's gray here. Hmm, I definitely, there's a little bit of blue in there. It's supposed to be a, like a blue tint. So I'm going to kind of get some of that color out. What am I doing? I'm trying to get some of that color out because it was too, too much for me. Okay, the last one is, you would think I would say black, but there's no black in here. Okay, so that might be good for some people, but there is a white which has a yellowish tint. Sorry about that. <laughs> Arlington's Gray Shade. As I was watching one of my YouTubers who's a, who's a, she does a lot of artwork. I can't pronounce her name. I think it's German. I could be wrong. <laughs> that looks black. Black? <laughs> and she was, com she was trying out the Paul Rubens glitter. It's not the same set that I have. It's a much smaller set and it's it has slightly different color to it. I, I don't think it was the glitter paints. I think it was just straight up paints. Watercolor paints and she was saying she was disappointed that there was a black in there. I don't and I think she was thankful there was no white. I'd rather have the white well, I'd rather, I'd like to have both the white and the black because white you can use for highlighting and black you can use for shading. But I suppose you could go with the gray. Now this Arlington's gray shade, that is black. 
Let's see if I can dry the brush a little bit. Might be drying up and I can't get it off. It, that's that's not a gray. Well, isn't black really just a <laughs> giant, very, very dark gray? There's a little bit of brown in there. Okay, so some of these are super opaque. Deep violet. Wow, super, super opaque. I should have tried the... See if I could. I mean, I'm you know, I deep violet, of course, but should it be as watercolor? Should it be that deep of a color? Okay, so you want, I know you want me to oh, oh, wreck my paints in front of you. I know you want that. <laughs> so I'm going to scroll in so you can see. Slowly, slowly. Okay. So this is what they look like. They look cool. I'm going to scroll in some more. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that's not too bad. I, I really have. You know, it's a swatch card. Let's see. Up close and personal. As they get drier, also I notice as my lighting. Hey, I wonder if I can do them. Let's like just a minute. I wonder if I can do it like this. Kinda like that. adjusting my light panel so this I would more use more for black if I needed it uh, the purple I definitely need to, to pay attention and add more water to that and they oh you're using deep violet be very careful add more water <laughs> Okay, I'm going. I gotta put the cat's food out. And ooh, we're gonna do the spinner. And please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any tips on how to swatch watercolors in a tiny itty bitty space, I probably should have used a smaller brush. Maybe. I'll try it out. You know, maybe I'll practice swatching so I can become an expert swatcher. The swatching crafty cat lady. Thanks for watching. Now I've randomized and I'm going to spin the spinner and tell you what kind of day to have. Yes, I'm going to tell you. Okay, it's just a suggestion. Have a quirky day. I need a new Q word. Q adjective. <laughs> Bye.